At Ellis Brigham, we take ski testing really seriously, and this involves two different ski tests. The first one is done early in the season. Everything's put through its paces and compared, we make the decisions what we're going to stock. Later on in the season, we bring staff out to Austria. Here, the staff test all the skis that we've decided to go in the range. This means we can make sure we've made all the correct decisions, but it also means that when you come into any of our stores, the staff there can give you personal advice. They know exactly how the ski skis because they've been on them. So the RB here is the top end of the Spitfire range, so you're looking at your absolute expert piece gear that wants something that can really, really rail around on piece. The idea here with all of the Spitfires is that you get a slalom shape towards the tip, which helps with the turn initiation, and then you get a giant slalom format for the rest of the cycle, so that it really helps you cruise out through big carby turns. So we've got um, two sheets of titanol, full beefy wood core, and then we've got carbon in the tip, which you can just see here, and in the bottom in the tail, so that when you're really laying down a, a turn, you've got the absolute biggest amount of torsional stiffness you can get, so you're not coming out of that turn until you want to. So some feedback that we've had on the ski is that it's an absolute piece killer. It's, um, it's very aggressive, it's very stiff, it's got a lot of pop and whip out of the turn, so when you want to ski around the like railway tracks. Hi, I'm Chris, I'm from the Glasgow Brayhead store and I've been skiing the Nordica Doberman Spitfire. Um, I was skiing it on piste in pretty variable conditions, uh, but there was a piece based there. Um, it handled very well, fairly heavy ski, so it kind of pushed all the crud out of the way. Um, as soon as you got it onto its edge and you really put the pressure in, you definitely feel that calf kicking in and it does transport you from one side of the piece to the other. Um, but still, it wasn't overpowering. It kind of it has the power when you need it, but it doesn't demand that you need to ski 100 miles an hour all the time. So, for a usable, powerful ski for all day, pretty good.